returning to the stadium where you had so much success in the A-League men before you went overseas, and I guess it suits you because you had a great game tonight. How did you see it out there in the middle? Yeah, it was uh, pretty special being back. Like you said, I've spent many years here, um, and obviously, you know, starting for your country is always an honour, and um, yeah, I thought we did really well as a team, and it was just really great being back. Seeing the growth that you've gone, you've undergone going to Germany and in this Socceroos setup, and now you're starting the first game of this World Cup cycle in the starting eleven. Do you feel like this is the platform that over the next four years, this is where you become a steadfast first name on the team sheet type of player for the Socceroos, or is that the hope? Yeah, it's definitely you know one of my goals. Um, I've set myself, um, but you know not only me. Uh, you can see there's a lot of uh, you know mid twenty boys from the A-League that have moved, made, you know, made the move overseas and, um, and also there's, you know, some and, uh, boys retiring um, recently so there's uh, spots to take for us and, and we've got to, you know, take our chance and, you know, uh, the next four years is crucial for my development and, um, yeah, I'm really excited for it. Connor, how pleasing was it tonight? There was so much talk in the build-up about maybe having to break down this defence, it being difficult, and you're really ruthless in attack. Yeah, well, we knew what it was going to be like before the game. You know, um, I think our last maybe you know three games or you know two games have been against uh, tougher oppositions where we've had to be on the defensive side and and try to counter-attack. But tonight we knew that we'd have most of the possession and. Um, our main goal was just, you know, finishing our chances because even against the, you know, England and Mexico, we had plenty of chances to win the game there, but we just didn't capitalise. And for yourself, getting a couple of assists and really being involved in cracking open that defence a couple of times, how, how pleasing is that for you? Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. Always uh, happy to be involved. Um, to be honest, I, I really wanted to score tonight. Um, I was probably a bit selfish on that last free kick, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, why not? I thought 7-0, just go for it. Um, Connor, how, how pleasing was it to see the guys putting together chances, not just finishing, but putting together going from midfield tonight, albeit weaker opposition, but actually seeing the team go end-to-end -end and actually create like that? Yeah, it's, it's what we train for. It's, you know, we, we don't really get a lot of time together um, and that was our main goal. In the build-up to this game was creating chances and... Um, and finishing them, and I think tonight just shows that we've got the quality to do that, um, and we're definitely going to take that into the next game. And uh, you mentioned the other the lads who are like yourself in that sort of mid twenties, gone from A League to Europe. <clears throat> Is that an extension of your form tonight? That what you what you're showing in Europe, and how you're feeling, you know, your comfort in your game, that you can do so much at both ends. Yeah, I think uh, you know it's the, there's a big difference. Um, you know, going over there, it's a completely different world. Um, the games are much more intense and there's a lot more pressure in, in games, you know, they, they must win games and obviously there's promotion and relegation in those leagues and um, I think you just, you know, it's a lot more competitive over there. Um, so, yeah, I think I've, I've taken it into my own game. I guess, you know, <clears throat> the World Cup's obviously two and a half years away still, but how important was it to really set the tone for the start of your campaign with such an emphatic result and, you know, could have even been double digit goals out there, couldn't it? Yeah, well, you know, we're not going to take it easy no matter what. Um, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a football match and we want to win as, as much as we can. So I just think it was a really good opportunity for us to come together, um, prepare um, and really just, yeah, score as many <coughs> goals as we could. Connor, uh, Jackson spoke pretty glowingly about your development the other day since you've got to St Pauli. How important has your, I guess, relationship with him been since you arrived in Germany? Yeah, it's, he, he's helped me a lot. Um, obviously, you know, he's the captain at, at my club and, um, yeah, he's a big role model on and off the field, as you probably know. Um, but, yeah, he's always there to tell me when to pull my head in or, you know, to do better on the pitch and stuff like that. So he's just got that experience that, you know, I think I lack um, and, you know, I'm just trying to take it and learn. And are there specific areas of your game that you think have gone up a notch since you've been there? Uh, and are there still areas that you think you need to improve on? Yeah, um, I think, you know, the attacking side of my game has probably become a bit more 
Uh, a, bit, a bit better purely because, you know, I'm, I'm playing a different role at my club compared to what I was playing back here at City. Um, so I've had to adapt, um, you know, to that situation. And I think being able to play, you know, two or three different positions really, you know, uh, benefits me and, and it gives me much more opportunity to play. Yeah, just about that, Connor. You've come through the ranks at Melbourne City as a six, and now you're able to play as an eight, and now on the wing as well. I just guess, yeah, that's obviously helping out the chances of the soccer team, and of course the man sitting next to you giving you like more options to be in the squad. Yeah, I think you know it's um, for any player. It's always a a positive if you can play more than one position. Um, because not every time you're going to be able to play your favourite position and you have to adapt. Um, and at the end of the day, uh, you know, wherever the coach needs you, you, you put in a job 100%. Um, so, yeah.